I've been having fun today surveying our building here, the e-innovation centre. And I've already been surveying the ground floor, so you can see that I've gone into the reception, a corridor, the kitchen and the comms room, except I couldn't actually get into the comms room. We're now on the first floor, I'm going to show you how easy it is to copy an entire room, including all of the non-suspect information. Come with me, Adam, with your camera. So this corridor on the first floor is the same, exactly the same construction as the corridor on the, uh, on the ground floor. So I'm going to do a new session. I'm going to say that this is location number six. And here is the trick, or oh, I just need to say I'm on the first floor. So I'm on first floor location six, and here's the trick. We've configured a previous locations drop down here. So if I tap that and say this is the same as the corridor location number two, you'll see that it's put all of the non-suspect items and materials in without me having to select them, which means all I've got to do is scroll down, there was nothing suspect down there, so I can now just take my new picture of the corridor like so and that's done it, that's created location 6 on the first floor, the corridor, as an, as an exact copy of the information in the corridor on the ground floor. Now let's have a look at doing a sample, so a cross-reference sample. So in the kitchen on the ground floor, we had a sink pad, and in this kitchen on the first floor, I imagine there's going to be exactly the same material, exactly the same type of sink pad. Let's have a look. Someone hasn't done their washing up. Yep, it's exactly the same. So rather than sample this sink pad, I'm going to cross-reference it back to the sink pad on, in the kitchen on the ground floor. So how do I do that? Well, this is even easier. So, new session again. Again, I've just got to check I'm on the right floor. I am, I'm in now room seven, which is the kitchen. So, let me just type that in. I could have chosen it from the drop down. There we go. So that's in the kitchen. Now I can pull through all of the non-suspect information from the kitchen downstairs because it's actually identical. So that was location three. Uh, so that has now put all my non-suspect materials in. But I'm going to do a suspect item, which is going to be the sink pad. Again, I could have picked that from the list. I'm giving myself a job to do there by typing. In fact, it's brought it up anyway. There we go. Yeah, so the sink pad. Now, um, it's a cross-reference, so I'm going to use my X approach. X approaches are cross-references. We sometimes configure them as visually similar, or if your terminology is different, it might be something different, but in my uh, handset here, it's an X. And that, I'm going to say, is the same as, the same material as a sample I've already taken, and the sample I've already taken was the sink pad in the kitchen. Now by doing that, what it's done is it's automatically brought forward the correct sample number. It, uh, I just need to say there's only one of them because the, the number might be different. Okay, so let me just scroll back up to where I was. So then I've got one of them, but it's brought through the same uh, product type and surface treatment. I've just got to say what damage it is. Well, this one actually has some slight damage, so I'll, I'll put it's low damage. Uh, I need to confirm the recommendation which is going to be Manage and Label. And now all I need to do is take the photo. So I'm going to take one photo uh, stood back, like I would normally, just to show where in the room it is. And then the other photo I can take as my close-up, just to show the damage that I can see. So there we go. And that's done it. So that's using this samples already taken uh, selector, which only appears if, if I just scroll up and find it, only appears if it's a cross-reference sample. So by choosing it to say it's a cross-reference, I then get the list of samples I've already taken, and it brings through all the information that it can into this session 
uh, just for me to update things like the condition. So there you go. So that's shown two different features. We've shown how to duplicate a location using a really safe and easy way in the application. And we've also shown how to do cross-reference samples and bring forward the information from a previously sampled item. Thanks very much.